I learn something new every day. I really do. Like many nurses. I'll just put it right here for now. Heidi Prodell feels a sense of purpose about her job. I've been sick throughout my whole entire life, pretty much, you know, multiple hospitalizations in and out. I was unable to maintain my blood sugars. That led to a liver transplant at 25. Nearly 15 years later, she's a registered nurse caring for others in Freighter's Transplant Center. I actually wanted to do it as like a pay it forward type of a thing. But the tables have turned. And now you're in need of a transplant yourself. I am, yes. Even though I had my liver back in 2005, um, unfortunately the rejection meds are a little harsh on the kidney. It's a, it's, a, it's a side effect, so now I'm listed for a kidney transplant. You're waiting for this transplant. Mm -hmm. You're married, you got two small kids, and you're juggling work. Yes. Tell me how you're balancing it all out. I don't like to see myself as different or special in any such way. So I just want to go about living life, what I'm meant to do. Heidi's not alone in her wait. Dr. Ehab Saad says there is an increasing demand for kidney donations. People are living longer and there are also a lot of uh, medical uh, problems that can lead to kidney disease as well as kidney failure. So the demand is on the rise or at least has been steady for the last few years. Heidi is creating awareness, though, about organ donation, competing and winning the National Kidney Foundation's dance competition. I want people to know that, you know, just because you receive an organ or you're waiting for an organ, it doesn't mean that your life stops. I want people to be aware of that. In Wauwatosa, Sheldon Dutez, WISN, 12 News.